this ties in the question in the no, comments no about like Jordan pain of exclusion. Yeah, Jordan said, you know, why don't I like Ben Hunt? And I just want to clarify that real quick. And this relates to what we're saying. It's like, as I don't dislike Ben Hunt, there's always option C. I can't stand people are like or dislike. I'm like, yeah. I'm ambivalent to Ben Hunt in the sense that like, I, that's just not my particular brand of narrative, right? Narratives about narratives and a meta narrative is like, it's not my fight club. I just don't care. And so like, but at the end of the day, like you're saying, we all have narratives, right? And to have a narrative, you're essentially a zealot. And you're saying that like, you even started using words like we have evidence, we have proof, like all these things where here's my question for you is like almost the opposite sense. Like you're, you're talking about things like, you know, we're here almost like the way Silicon Valley does is like, we're here to save the world or improve the world. Like, are you really? Because there's a lot of like elitism and schadenfreude to like uh, wait for the comeuppance of the 6040 crowd because you're going to step in and crush their dreams. Like, so I, I worry about that. Or more importantly, to make a specific point on it, I know how you guys construct a portfolio. So like, let's address like, what if you're wrong? Like, if we're all saying there's this fourth turning and all this stuff's going on and we're about to experience this 70s or 40s style inflation, like, what if you're wrong? Okay, well, what if we are wrong about inflation? You tell me what happens to the way we constructed the portfolio. No, that's what I'm, I'm letting you. Okay. I'm let, uh, there was a softball. Oh, I, you're, oh, oh, you're, I you're <laughs> teeing me up. You know, here's what I want to do. So, if, 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 this, this is all, I was ready to. I was ready to go. Adam, can are you we, still uh, there? Uh, You've been we, frozen for about half an hour because I yeah, do want. Yeah, I don't know. Here. Am I actually frozen or am I just being still? You're, you're You've been frozen, frozen on and off. But I can, like, we can hear you. I actually yeah, like your yeah, coming to, to answer Jason's question is yes. If we're wrong, the point is that something else within the portfolio will benefit from. If there's low inflation, then we're going to have the opportunity to make money in bonds or make money in certain equities and, and be able to go long and short all the all the futures contracts that we trade. But with that said, right? So there's that, that's what I mean by being the centrist, being the middle line, not taking solitary in any single asset class in any direction. But to address the question of isn't everybody zealot in, the, in their own realm of expertise? I remember you wrote, Adam, a piece with uh, Michael Edison. Edison Ed, I responded was, to him, yeah. You responded to, 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 his, to a debate that you were having about, you know, empirical finance is BS. You know, the only thing you can do is buy, buy and hold or something like that because, you know, it's all fugazi, right? Turtles, turtles, turtles. So tell me, if you recall... Tell me a little bit about what your response to that was. To that um, mean that there's nothing that we can do. Well, I think, yeah, I mean, you either adopt a completely nihilist perspective and say that I have no control. I have no, I have no free will. You know, I mean, Jason and I can, and all of us, God, Jesus, all of us, all of us can, 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 can jam on that for, for can, a very long time. Can we time. make nihilism great again? How did nihilism become a pejorative? <laughs> I just, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so now we need that MNGA. Yeah, MNGA. Yeah. Manga. Um, <laughs> make nihilism great again. Um, but, you know, I think we sort of have to act as if we have, we have free will. We, 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 we have decisions to make, right? Like not deciding on a portfolio allocation is, a, is an allocation, right? Because your money sits in the bank or your money sits under the mattress. So we all are required to act. That was my point. So if you're going to act, then act in a way that is consistent with both some sort of comprehensive framework for how markets should operate and, and how they should operate in response to the underlying economies or economic variables. And when the th when the theory or some sort of generalizable framework doesn't give you enough information to to um, to make a good decision, then you you have to sort of lean on the data. And yeah, if you lean too heavily on the data, then you've got you've got sample bias, right? We talk all the time about how many people use U historical U.S. equity returns and bond returns for the Monte Carlo models for retirement planning, etc., and how that is like, that's the lamppost problem. Because that data is available so readily and it has such a long history, everybody uses it, right? Um, but it's kind of like the drunk looking for their keys and a guy stumbles by and the drunk's by the lamppost and it's dark. And the guy's like, what's going on? The drunk's like, I lost my keys. And he, the, the passersby says, well, did you lose them here by the lamp? And the drunk says, no, but this is where the light is, right? It's exactly the same thing for U.S. Um, stock and bond historical returns. So you're using these long-term data for your 
simulations and to draw conclusions, but you're not realizing that this is one sample and that if you were to use a much broader global sample that there are countries in the world that have where their, their stock markets and bond markets have been completely wiped out, that the yep. global sample has very different distribution properties than the U.S. sample, right? But once you sort of recognize, I need to use data to help me make this, to guide this decision, of course, you need to like use as much data as possible, be as thoughtful as possible about the biases embedded in that data. But eventually, you need to be guided by the data. Because what else are you going to use? You're going to throw dots. I'm getting so excited. I'm getting so excited. Yes, please.